right guys and dolls my festive friends welcome back to Queenie of London thank you so much for popping back to the channel and welcome to Friday evening on Oxford Street in London here we are I'm here this evening to have a look at the big flagship Marks and Spencers to hopefully see a little magic and sparkle from their Christmas department. I forgot to do this one last year and I missed out. So I've had a little look online at some of their bits and it looks really, really nice. So I'm hoping it's displayed all nicely in their big flagship store for us to go and have a good nose at. So grab yourself something nice to eat and drink on this Friday evening, it'll probably be the weekend for you when you see this, so hope you're having a good one. And let's get inside. I'll try and keep my eyes from the party dresses on my way in. Oh, I can see Christmassy Red stepping off onto floor one for Christmas. And this is what we're looking at as soon as we get off the escalators. Let me find a good place to start. So it looks to kind of be contained from what I can make out at the moment in this corner of the first floor. There's some little family PJs behind me, but we'll start here, shall we? There's some like homeware bits. There's some festive cutlery. Fifteen. What are these are you for? Napkin holders. How darling are they? Like candy cane stripe. And what do we have here? Let me poke you instead of me getting it all off oh look at those jugs <laughs> the pudding jugs they're lovely aren't they I didn't mean to say that I'm sorry oh it's blooming heavy can you see your price there you go they're nice and then you have matching plates up here which are rather lovely I always like seeing the puddings they're really sweet I'm not going to pick up that big one. That says mistletoe side plates. Oh, they're really good value. They feel nice quality as well. They've got a nice shine on them. And then you... Oh, the mistletoe is really pretty. And then you have ones with like... They've got like a nice indentation in the middle. How sweet. And look at the little bowls. And you have those nice serving platters there which are lovely. And then here, are these tea towels? We're after some Christmassy tea towels. I must admit, I kind of prefer the photographic -y prints. But those are nice. They feel nice quality. What's this? It's like a tablecloth. Oh, that's tartan. And then look at the Santas. I'm loving those. The Mrs. Claus one is lovely. How good are they? And the rim isn't too wide. That's always a problem with these like character mugs. Oh, they're really sweet. And you can have this like little sharing plattery dish here for the table. And Santa's stringing up his Christmas garland. He's lovely. Do I dare pick it up? Oh, it's not too heavy. That's 10. That's pretty good for 10. Nice design. And then you have some beautiful festive runners here. Look at these. For 15, and they've got the nice tassels on as well. And then you can just have a plain red tablecloth. So that was our little section of like dinnerware, which was rather nice. You can probably see those designs a lot better than I currently can, but there's a set of four festive side plates there. These are wipe clean tablecloths and they are £20. Festive friends, this right here I'm holding is a light up apron. So you can just look so, so bedazzled in your Christmas kitchen basting the turkey <laughs> in your light up Christmas apron. I can't, there isn't like a little picture of it, what it looks like. So I'll try and pop one on the screen for you to see what you too could look like lit up. <laughs> on Christmas morning stuffing the turkey this here is a table runner for 20 the design is really nice I'm wondering if this is what you have on the light up apron because that would be immense I'm tempted to buy the light up apron if that's what's on it <laughs> Santa on his lambretta 
just brilliant. I am loving the candy cane killer candles. How pretty are they? They are really nice. And you can have them in just a normal stem candles. Then you have, look at these, these are in felt Christmas trees. And these little place settings, those are really lovely. Oh gosh. I don't have, oh yes I do, sorry. Those are not bad, you get the coasters as well. And these like dish serving dishes, yes I'll have all of that filled up with sprouts, with bacon, gorgeous. <laughs> On this stand here, we not only have the classic Nutcracker, but we also have a really nice selection of snow globes. One with a Nutcracker in, and one with the ballerina. I think these sing as well, guys. 25. I like the... That sounds pretty. And then look at the London scene one. How nice is that? You can always rely on M&S for some nice, reasonably priced... London baubles. I wonder if we'll see any. Uh, let me drop you quickly and then I'll take you back up again. Oh, hang on. Didn't I say? <laughs> look at these. Oh my, oh my god, look at the gherkin. That's gorgeous. £10 and you get three. There's the shard, isn't it? The London Eye, which is all glittery. Oh my god, I think that pack is worth it just for that gherkin. I love the gherkin. It always gets a lot of slack because it's, you know, modern in the heart of the city. But I actually think it's very, very ingenious. And I like the way it looks like it's protecting the little church that's at the bottom of it. So I like that. And then you have a reindeer nutcracker in a gorgeous, and that's actually like a velvet jacket with a glittery collar. And he's holding a pudding. He's lovely. He's only £12. And you've got these little mini guys and a nice one. And he also has a velvet jacket. He's nice. And candy cane trousers. He's also 12. And then right here, just at my legs, is <laughs> some nice Union Jack baubles in a three pack. Good value for 10. Those are lovely. And then what do we have here? This big pack. Oh, they're really sweet. They have like everything on everything 20 pounds for 12 like the 12 days of christmas yep look five gold rings love that absolutely love it why has no one done that before that's a brilliant thing i'm impressed these little baubles here are six pound i'm really quite fond of this one here with the london scene in so basically just like little tiny baubles replicas of the snow globes Let's walk round to the front to see if there's any more. Oh, it's kind of the same. Oh, that, is that, I love the base of that. Do you? The black and white. Very Mackenzie. And then here you've got these like your felt balls. Oh, look at the tube. How much are you talking for these? I love these London balls in a minute. See, look, they're not bad. Any different ones? There's a bus landing. <laughs> and you've got some more of the baubles down there so you have even on that little introductory section quite a lot of nice stuff just before i take you on to some more baubles here are some nice little small trees and they're like wrapped up in the hessian you can have like one dusted i'll try and give you some price tags and you can have the plain green ones which are there you go. I'll try and give you the names just in case you're ordering online. This one's nice, which is sort of like half dusted. Really sweet. So that's your selection there. To my complete delight, I have found you another box set of London Ball Balls. This one has Big Ben, St. Stephen's, Elizabeth Tower. <laughs> it has Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace and really St. Paul's Dome. I adore that. I kind of wish I could have a mixed bag, a pick a mix of the St. Paul's Dome Buckingham Palace. I have already those two and kind of variations of them, but 
I wish I could pick the eye and the gherkin out of that one. That would be perfect to put together, but I love that St Paul's dome. Again, that's 12 for four baubles. Very good. This three pack is £12 in classic Christmassy colours. And will you just look at this guy, the little sausage dog in his beautiful Christmas jumper. He's £12 and he's pulling a little sleigh and it's got like a little cushioned sack in the back full of presents. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? That's so unusual. The sausage dog is really popular this year, have you noticed? Not that I'm complaining. Gorgeous. Always reminds me of Watch With Mother. <laughs> and then here on the end you have these little free birds who are having a right good time their wings remind me a bit of tweed which is always a good thing how much are you three they don't have a price on but they're probably around the same price as the dachshund i would imagine then you have like a lovely set here that look to be like a sort of velour. You get nine in there for £12. And then here is a section. These are satiny, which is very unusual. Kind of like black and red and green, which are interesting. And then I like these a lot. These are really sweet. What's on them? They're like cherries or berries. They're like frosted. £8. And then M&S are really good for their multi-packs of ball balls. I mean, that's only a fiver and it has some mini ones in that you could hang from a garland. Just, just give it a bit of zhuzh. And some, um, again, classic Christmassy colour ones. And then apart from the 12 Days of Christmas one that I showed you before, you can also have this multi-pack of ball balls, which I'm pretty sure they do in other colours apart from red. And that's 20. I hope they actually have this. <laughs> the disco ball snowman in a cloche really cool what a nice little stocking here for a tenner okay so it looks as if m and have put some like theme titles here on the stands for us this one's called christmas cabin elevated understated and steeped in tradition mm -hmm, like it celebrate the crafted nostalgia of christmases gone by yes i can already see that this is kind of like looks homemade ho 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 he is really sweet here oh look you could put him as a tree topper that's a nice idea he hasn't got a tag on for you unfortunately there's some more of these cute little birds he's got a tag he's a fiver m and s have always done these birds in different variations i'm just going to drop you because there's a tree down here this is nice like the glass green like the metallic kind of feel 20 pounds there you go those are nice more packs of ball balls lots more packs of ball balls lots more packs of ball balls and here's some individual guys so you have like a nice rich red bow let me give you an idea of what you're looking at price wise that's eight another little bird for five that's crazy because they're five and he's five little reindeer is that a reindeer or a dog he's got skates on you have a mailbox oh that's so sweet post with the wreath on how much are you that's a nice design for a fiver that's pretty good value and you have a lovely pudding i like all the pudding so far marks and spencers a little bobbly stay that's sweet and look at mrs claus oh i'm always happy to see mrs claus i love her cape i love her cape that is nice she's also five you have little reindeer a wee elf <laughs> and then some more of the same up there so that was called christmas cabin m s also have a whole host of the initial stockings and those are 10 your eyes aren't deceiving you it's a very very pale red in fact i would go so far as to say as that was quite pink really but they are very very nice i like the detail at the top at this point i'm very happy to say it seems to stretch a little bit more so that's always a good sign 
This little section here is called Nordic Notes. I'm loving the candles in the snowy tree. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, we've got some red trees that look as if they're that kind of paper design. They're glittery. Down here, look at this little sleeping owl. Isn't he sweet? We've got some like little bell jars, kind of. Some ornaments. Some trees in a packet there. Those are unusual. And then you have some lights. And a sort of like a galactic theme <laughs> set of baubles for 12. They're a good size. And uh, yeah, and you have the multi pack in silver here, as well as some other multi packs there. Should we go ahead and have a look at this display here with the Christmas tree in the middle? Because I was really attracted by this tree skirt at the bottom. I want to touch it. It's like tin. And it's all like beveled. <laughs> it's very industrial looking. It's unusual. It is nice. I can't see a price. Oh, it's like a half one as well. Look, can you see? It's a half tree skirt. Hmm. Okay. Good plan. Okay, so at this table we've got like a nice selection of bottle brush trees and some of these, those are felt, if you were interested. Look at these guys, foxes, his tail is sweet, he is. We have some of these, beef. A lot of the foxes. Look at these here. Here's some, I'll poke you in. You've got some little guys going on in here. Golden hedgehogs, a mini version of the fox. These are all a fiver. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's like an owl. Ta da! Those of you that like your woodland themes, I know they're pretty popular. Oh, these are quite sweet. These baubles here. These are all like wooden, wooden stars. You get them all together, which is quite good. Oh, these are what I'm after. These little frames, like silver frames. Those are nice to put a picture of your loved one in. And a little grey dancing reindeer. Yep, he's a five or two. This is how the tree looks with those on. I think you can also buy the trees. Yeah, look, you can see them over there. I'll take you over there if you're in the market for a new tree this year. Got a silver metallic set of ball balls. What's this? It's like a countdown. You must be able to move this along. How sweet. You got a fairy owl. <laughs> And a little reindeer, he's got some glitz on his back. And a squirrel, bless him. I do like the woodland animals. And then they've put some like plates and stuff here. So that's how this little theme's looking here in the center. I think I'm gonna head. Yeah, let's go and do another display, shall we? That says vintage soiree, which I like the sound of. Yeah, go on, let's look here, because there's tinsel, and tinsel always makes me happy, as you know. So you can have this multicoloured tinsel garland, because it's got baubles on. Amaze, how much is this? Let me just show you these first and foremost, because they're rather big. Look at these big sweets. £12. Yeah, them are really pretty. Very, very pretty. Six pound. What have we here? Oh, it's, it's a heavy one. Oh wow! I can't make that out. What am I looking at? Is it just a? Oh, I see. It's like a, is that a cocktail? That's nice. And I like the tinsel around the bottom there. Oh, this looks like a fun section. There's a Dino <laughs> Stegosaurus. Is that correct? <laughs> With a present on. And this guy. These are all a fiver again. And a zebra. 
He's got fairy lights right around him, which is quite nice. There's a guitar on the tree. Queenie approved. <laughs> what have we here in these little black boxes? More like baby versions of the sweet. Those are quite nice. They are eight for three of them. Twisting around, twisting around. Are they more sweets? Yes, they are. What are you? Oh. Oh, wow. So you can have like a whole pack of dinos. That's so nice if you had a little one who had like a tree in their room. And they love the dinos. £12. Good value for four baubles. Look at these guys lined up along here. How good is that? And what's this, a welly? A welly? Here's the guitar. You have a festive jumper. Oh, this is all like wiry. Interesting. What's this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look, oat milk. <laughs> Cute. I like the stereo. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that one's good. And you can have a microphone as well. Going good so far. Going good. Did I miss anything down here? Well, there's like a multi pack of baubles, and then I think that's just a plain tinsel, or is it a reef? It is not plain tinsel. It's I think you can put that around the edge of your skirt because it's like bent. Yeah. You can use that as a sort of half tree skirt to disguise the base of the tree. You have a multi-pack of multi-coloured baubles. They are £20. And there's a Let's Party sign <laughs> for £25. Taking you up. There's a pack of these baubles here for 10 with like the squashed in centers they always remind me of like motorbike headlamps <laughs> you got a is that a light up topper yeah a light up tree topper 15 pound and we've got some oh we've got some more baubles that's a tractor is that like yarn again we saw yarn the other day at harrods didn't we this one's pink and it's bigger and it's only five pound. <laughs> There's a giraffe and a pearly tub of popcorn, which we like. What's in here apart from the giraffe? A little tree and another sweet, which is again like this kind of wire. Hmm. I'm not sure about those. There's some fairy lights down there if you want to pause if you're in the market for some new lights. And there's a pack here of these like really cute shaped ones. And then here you've got some cocktails. Nice. <laughs> there's some more snow globes here which are like a smaller version of what we saw before. Can I find you a price? Bear with, bear with. There you are. They're 15. And then in here you've got these cloches. These are six. So there's a, um, yes, what I saw earlier. Hang on. <laughs> there's a tree one. And here is a picture of the snowman one in the cloche. And there's an elephant, of course. This section, by the way, is called Party Stutters. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. That reminds me, do you remember that? Shirley Bassey did a Marks and Spencer's advert once and she come down the stairs wearing an m and party dress and she sang um, Get This Party Started, the pink song. It was way better than Pink's version of it. And I really, I really like these for 10, the three pack. So that was our section there. Let's go and find some more. a four pack of the wired boiled sweets decorations for 15. I have found yet more from the party starters section that we just had a little look at so we'll have a little bit of a closer look. You can have a drill yes and a controller there's more of the yarn I love those crayons I think John Lewis had those last year
and there's a nice little aeroplane to remind you of your holidays and a suitcase to do the same now what are you in here is this a globe beautiful a football boot little yoga mat the trainer and you can also yeah you can have another trainer <laughs> there's a stiletto check me looking underneath it to see if it's a loop <laughs> A mixer, KitchenAid. Uh huh. Caviar. Some sauce. I think my brother would like that one. Flaming hot sauce. And then you can have these little cloches with the scenes in. Let's have a little bit. Oh, they've got initials in. How nice is that? Would be. Those are really sweet. You can have all different. You have a little look and see how your name your initial looks in there. More of the pack ball balls there and there's some more colours for your selection there. Red, white and blue. That reminds me of Independence Day. <laughs> Those colours there. They're really nice. And some more of the silver ones and these sort of like iridescent. Yeah they're showing up nicely in the camera actually. Iridescent trees. Vintage soiree, guys. Read about that. Doesn't that sound really inviting? <laughs> I think it does. So let's have a little look at what's part of this selection. You have these glamorous trees. These are 10. They've got a star on the top. These multi-packs here, which are very, very decadent. This pack here, 12 pound. Those are nice. I like the bronzy colors. Some of the birds with the feathery tails for 10 more multi packs that match this theme. There, there's that tree skirt again. There's a topper there, and there's a wreath. This is 20, and it's got like the little silver berries on. This tree is really nice, I like that one a lot. And there's some more ball balls here for us to go bananas at <laughs> there's a moon glass moon this one here and then another moon there oh look at that is that a dove I like that but it's tin I do not like tin there's a champagne that's actually being poured which is cool glittery one there's some more of the frame and these like sprigs which are like look is it hard? Hang on, let me see. Can I get one down without causing a massive issue? They're all tangled, but there's a dove in there, I think. Yeah, that's sweet. This star is really special. I really like this with the pearls. That's lovely. It's sparkling away really nicely. That's five. That's pretty bell shaped. That actually has a, sorry, has a tassel on. <laughs> and there's a swan, which is all pearlescent and pretty. So that's nice. And then you have one of these plain grey, sort of semi, I was going to say that was quilty effect, but it's not. It's just sort of embellished a little. And there's some more multi pack baubles there. Nice to see that M&S have a good selection of their own lights and they've put them in little see-through boxes so that you can have a little nose at what you're buying. They always do these, these ball ball gardens. They're really nice. You don't necessarily get a lot of light from them, but they're there for you. These are nice. I like these big, like I call them berry lights because they're... <laughs> <laughs> like a berry they could do with being a bit bigger I think the bulbs but they're only £14 for a hundred there you go obviously you can get different size packs what's in here confetti star string lights and multicoloured retro string lights oh yeah those are like those proper bulbs 
If only they were really retro, they'd do that special magic twinkling that retro lights did. There you go, so that's the lights in MS. I've got to be honest, this is mainly what I'm here for. Can I show you without the glare? That in there is Dawn French. <laughs> if you don't know who Dawn French is, if you're not from this country, have a little look or I'll pop, I tell you what, I'll pop a little clip of her in action in the M&S food Christmas advert <laughs> for you. But she's coming home with me. I love her. And oh, does all the glitter come up? Oh, yeah. She's got to come with me. <laughs> tree is eight pounds as you can see there's not many of the dawn french left <laughs> look at these as well the um room decoration trees there's more nutcrackers up there and what are these candles Din oh dinner <laughs> dinner candles those are nice they're all twisted and there's a random pillow here i'm not sure where the christmas home is that would be good to have a look at I went upstairs before I came down to here and they didn't have any like Christmassy bedding on show. I'll keep nosing around. You have more of your initial baubles. These are cute. Stars and moons, basically. And I think there's some more around the other side. That there is. And these ones light up. They're in silver this year. Sometimes they do them in silver red and gold but they only seem to have silver on offer at the moment a little pack of the bottle brush trees going down to a star topper there and a pack of marks and spencer's crackers this is the first pack i've seen 15 pounds that's what oh you have like little ornaments inside cute that's nice they feel like they break pretty easily, to be honest. You wouldn't have had to have your wheat bricks to pull those. What are they? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Window scene. How sweet. Townhouse window scene. That's unusual. I quite like that. Just seen these, which I really, really love. They're cool. They look like gems. And I found more with Spencer Bear. They have finally done it. There's a Percy Pig sweet packet bauble. I'm happy. <laughs> How nice is that? Yes. And then if that's not good enough for you, you can have Percy and his little mate with a snowman in a snow globe. And then if you just want the main man, here he is. He's a pudding. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Adorable. There is a whole host of Percy little gifts, <laughs> not just the ball ball. There's a whole host. There you go. This shows you a little bit there. There's some soap, a hot water bottle, a blanket, another blanket. Last year, I think they did dog toys. I bought my dog a <laughs> Percy pig. The blankets are cute. There's a little softy in there as well. A snow globe, a Percy snow globe. Oh, and there's there's a close up of the little bottles. This is quite sweet. You can have Percy toiletries as well. Wow, and then there's loads and loads of like gifting if you can peep through there. I'm gonna go and head to Spencer Bear while he's quiet because loads of people have been looking at Spencer Bear. <laughs> Look at this, how sweet is that? Adorable. So you can have a little mini Spencer there. I think he like he's like resin. This one's a soft one. And then look, <laughs> got a little star. There's a blanket in there. What's that? Mhm. Mm and look, he's got antlers on. These are so sweet. He's lovely and soft. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I love the mug. Look how nice the mug is. So cute. What are these? Are these like little blankets? That's a pet blanket. Oh, It's a little Alfie baby. A little tiny specks of their chocolate. And there's bedding there. There, look. And an upteen cushion. 
so lovely for little ones. I'm glad they brought back Spencer Bear. How nice does that look with all the green and the foliage? So pretty. You can see the trees. Why don't we head there first? Oh, there's more trees at the back as well. Yeah, we can have a little look at m &S's Christmas trees. You know, just if you're hunting, it gives you maybe a better idea of what you're looking at. That's called B. I don't know. <laughs> Here you go. It's very helpful. There you go. So you can have a look at all of the different trees that Marks and Spencers have this year. So that's like the key. And then if I walk you around, you can sort of tally it up. £89 for that one there. Oh, that's a big one. 429. Crikey. Wow, he's really good. He's very big. Uh, oh, that little guy next to him. <laughs> he's nice, got a bit of a fleck running through him. This one here, I think this one's pre lit for 89. So there seems to be only four there. But there's like a little wall there of all the smaller mini ones, which is rather nice. I quite like those. For the kitchen windowsill, they're quite sweet. It's a wreath wonder. So <laughs> I'll just give you a little overview of what m and have got wreath-wise. I think this actually is like potpourri because I can smell it and it does smell lovely. That's really pretty. I like how they've displayed everything in the wooden crates. It looks very oldie worldy. You have like one of these ones. Hopefully you'll be able to make out some prices. I like the garland that's going around the actual stall because it's got like a little pearly or white berry, they look like pearls to me, they've got a bit of a sheen on, and it's lit, the garland here, and then look at these down here with the glittery pine cones, oh, here you are, it's a better view, that's got baubles in as well, and then matching that sort of ruby red, you can have this very long garland, <laughs> very long, there you go, even a price nice one and then you have another one of that round the other side i also think there's a snowy garland yep there it is that's the one that's going round the booth very pretty and i can see some really nice glittery picks over there which i'm going to go and have a little look at a bigger one of the like wicker wreaths look at those that's what caught my eye like a magpie i am those are pretty and then you just have at the end here a glittery garland wow and then this plainer one here which is still nice and then here you've got some more with like these thin you know the ones I mean <laughs> I don't know what they're called not bad there you go half half like half reeves and you have some more of the ones with the nice smell on. So that's that. And then there's a heck load of like Christmas gifting, which is an entirely separate video. <laughs> but it's a really nice department up here at Oxford Street. They've got it all laid out really, really nice. <gasps> I can see Christmas pillows. Is that a Christmas mug? Oh yes, we've got to have a little look at the Christmas mug. That's nice. That's a nice scene. And it's nice and lightweight as well. Oh, you have like a star candle. Has it got frankincense in? <laughs> they always use frankincense at m &S. This is gorgeous. Furry. And then, let me just take you around the front. Yeah, you have like a nice lot of Christmas gifts here. Like the homey wear bits and the smells. I'm loving the packaging. <laughs> Look how cute. Nice potpourri. This is eight. It smells lovely around here. This is literally just smells like Christmas. You can have these are nice gift ideas or just for you for your Christmas home. Ooh, one. Look at this. How sweet is that? It looks like a mini. Wow. Love that. What do we have here? The packaging is wonderful. I love it. m and have done well with their London packaging. And look at this. 
I'm gonna sniff. Oh, that smells so nice. There's something about that that reminds me of Christmases when I was growing up. That's a beautiful smell. I really like that. I might have to get a little bag of what is in that one. I just picked this one up from the bottom of the display. It smells gorgeous, but just look at the container. <laughs> it's China. This is so lovely. I love it. That's gorgeous. £12 and the smell is divine. Aren't they sweet? It's like Trafalgar Square, the tree. <laughs> so nice. I highly recommend the M&S room sprays for Christmas time. They are really good value. They last for ages and the smell lasts for ages in your home. So highly recommend picking one of these up if you haven't tried check the light up candles there's this kind here and let me get you one down i think you'll like <gasps> look landing <laughs> i love it it's so nice i'm debating whether to buy that pack just for the gherkin bauble in this section in the corner here we have a load of the marks and spencers christmas sweet stuff and I actually did a whole video on that selection uh, about a month ago. So I'll leave that in the corner for you if you haven't seen it. But there is a couple of new things from what I can see. So I'll let you have a little look at these. That must open. And then look at this here. Oh, there's me peppermint bark. Oh, try it guys. It's amazing. The Happy Christmas Selection, £15. Look at these. How lovely are these? Look at the little gingerbread man. All different flavours. The pudding is cute. That's lovely. That must be new because I don't remember seeing that. pop-up house Christmas cards for £12. How beautiful are these? Look how they look. What a lovely idea. These ones are also really pretty. You get four of those for 6 50 There is one bedding that I found, a Nutcracker set just right here. There is a whole a section up here of festive family PJs so you can all be matching I'm sure there's a lot more <laughs> downstairs but this is just a little teaser section of tartan there was no way I was going to leave here without having a little look at the Christmas pet bit <laughs> not a chance they always do some nice bits for pets in here and they last well as well look at the bear look is that the Spencer bear pet jumper <laughs> so sweet oh you can have one with giraffes on and oh my god i love the tartan look how sweet an outfit <laughs> and yeah that's that one there do we have any more teddies around the back or themed toys yes this is what i'm after guys <laughs> they i love alfie loves his one of those i like the boiled sweet oh that's really nice there's a Percy rope toy <laughs> and there's your Spencer bear blanket. What's that one? Oh, it's a cracker, a pulled cracker. 
<gasps> How brilliant is that? That's really tough as well. You'd have a job breaking that one if your dog is destructive. And you have like little sprouts, king sprouts. <laughs> really funny. I think the, um, oh, you get, Look, you get the candy cane as well in that packet as the boiled sweet. And I really like the little kennel they've displayed things in here. <laughs> Look. <laughs> So festive friends, that concludes our visit to the MS flagship on Oxford Street to check out the Christmas department. Did you see anything you liked? What about those light up aprons? I've got to say, since looking back at this video, doing the little bit of editing, I've added a few bits to my online basket on Marks and Spencers. So I guess the magic and sparkle worked on me. <laughs> Until I see you next time, have a great rest of the weekend. Take good care of yourselves and make sure you treat yourselves to some goodies. Loads and loads of love from London, Queenie. Mwah.